everyone. Thank you so much for joining me in this Mind Mastery video. Today, I want to talk about the problem or a challenge that many people face regarding the, either the therapeutic work or self-healing or even personal development. So we all probably know that change is difficult. Change is hard. And especially when it comes to long-term change or long-lasting changes. Uh, very often what happens is that we you know, maybe we develop a new habit or we think that we, we we change something regarding our personality or or mental health. But soon after that, it could be, you know, after a few weeks or after a few months or even maybe after a couple of years, we start reverting back to old patterns. So what, why is it happening? I think the, 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 the most important thing to say about change is that to make a long lasting change, whether it's like I said, whether it's a therapeutic work or whether it's, you know, something more positive like like developing a new habit or or kind of adding some some more positive layer to our personality. However you want to phrase this change. When it comes to change, um it, it has to involve our whole being. We can't just contemplate something on a cognitive level. We can't just, you know, wish ourselves just to change and hope that something magically, you know, will appear or disappear, right? But change needs to be kind of encompassing the, 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 the whole of our being. So the human being can be conceptualized as being kind of made of different layers or different aspects to their to they be, right? We have our physical bodies, we have our emotional life, we, we have our minds, our, our cognitions, and we have our spirituality if, it, if it's something that, it, that is important to you. We also have our, obviously, our behaviors and how we present ourselves in the world. We have our relational life, right? So, you know, without being picky, I'm sure you can break it down into even even more detailed layers if you want to, but we, we can kind of group a, a person into these different different aspects, right? So what happens very often when people start making changes in their, their lives, most of that change is happening here, right? So you start thinking like, oh yeah, I'm just going to do this because of such and such. Or you, you enter a therapy um, which actually is quite quite frustrating to me these days because most of the therapies offer out there, especially when it, when it comes to like medical systems. So I don't know wherever you are in the world, but um, the probably the most kind of popular therapies offer right uh, right now is the the cognitive behavioral therapy. So basically, what happens is that you know. The, the, the therapy seems to be effective in a short term for many people. But what happens is that, you know, a few months passes after that and, and very often um, the changes don't last, right? Or I also had many clients complaining about the, you know, the therapy, they, they go to the therapy and it kind of starts okay, but something starts kind of being, I don't know how to describe it, like missing or there's no rapport, there's no connection with the, with the therapist. So it's kind of very shallow and very, very dry. So again, it might be very helpful in short term to kind of, you know, learn various coping strategies, but the, the long-term changes uh, can be, you know, can be difficult to make with, with, at least in my opinion, with this form of therapy. And the reason is very simple because most of the work with, with cognitive behavioral therapy it's focused right here. So it doesn't really involve your body as much. Um, although there might be some exercises or there might be, you know, some involvement of your emotions or, or feelings, it's mostly based on your kind of rationality or, or intellect, whatever you want to call it. Similar thing happens with all sorts of self-help resources. Um, the, the change very often is conceptual rather than kind of actual or, or substantial, right? So people imagine their best life. They imagine their goal. They imagine the habits that they, they, they want to do. So they, they, they create maybe the vision for their lives or the goal and maybe start implementing 
that in the real life. But what happens in probably in nine out of 10 cases, there's not much energy. There's not enough energy to carry this, this change forward. And again, the reason is very simple because in my opinion, change involves you know multiple layers of your being. Like you have to you have to put a substance into into making a change, into building a routine, into um you know uh, maybe being in a different being in a different way with people or, or with yourself, how, however, whatever change you're trying to make. The point is that the change needs to happen on the experiential level. That could be, you know, I, I could simplify it in, in this term rather than thinking about all these different layers, if that make any more sense. So, of course, now the question is, so when, when we make a change, how do we involve this whole being? How do we involve more than just our brains or more than just our, our minds, right? How do we involve our emotions? How do we involve our our physical bodies? How do we involve, you know, our spiritual life? Well, if that is important to you, I think just asking yourself this kind of questions when trying to make a change, when going through therapy, when creating goals for yourself, or when trying to build a new routine is, you know, simply incorporating these different questions, considering your feelings, considering the health of your body, considering what is it like for you to experience this kind of change or this kind of challenge or a difficulty. I think just asking these questions can, can make a tremendous difference because you start involving your, 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 your whole being rather than you know making this cognitive, cognitive change, which honestly can feel really pleasant in the, in the short term because you start feeling like you're doing something, like you're changing something. But like I said, it's it very often it's not a long lasting change. And especially when it comes to things like like therapy or you know healing your past, healing your trauma, stuff like that, it has to happen on you know on on multiple kind of deeper layers of yourself, not just the not just the mind, not just not even just the, 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 the kind of superficial emotions or reactions that you have, but you have to kind of feel it in your body, feel that, you know, maybe how does a certain trauma feel in your body? How does releasing that trauma feel like? How does talking about it feel like? So so all, sort of that, all sorts of, you know, things that you can do to involve your body. There are um, many th- therapists out there that they, they are trained to, to do that. And it, and I think it's becoming more and more kind of, I hope so, that it's becoming more and more apparent that we, we can't just treat mental health disorders or we can't just make these this changes only on a cognitive level. We have to involve our kind of whole, whole, whole being. So that would be my kind of short take on, you know, how to approach change, how to approach maybe certain things in your life that you've been trying to change but kind of feeling like you're relapsing backwards and if you're interested in working with me uh, I'm a coaching psychologist I use primarily a gestalt approach to coaching which takes up this holistic perspective on on human being I do a lot I do a lot of work with emotions with the body with kind of building your your your, your ability to experience yourself on these multiple layers so if you are interested in working with me, you can go on my website. I now require that you complete just a short questionnaire uh, to make sure that my services will be appropriate to you. And after that, I will be able to offer you a free consultation and then we can start uh, a coaching program if all the boxes check in. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.